Hi everybody, welcome to uh, our first video here to show you how to mount your motor on our kits. Uh, today we're going to be using an 1806 quad motor. Uh, it's a real common motor that is available really inexpensively. Um, not originally designed for airplanes, but we've uh, designed some motor mounts that work very well. Uh, and we're going to show you today how to mount that. That's the first thing you need to do when you build one of our kits. Uh, you'll have to punch out uh, the two pieces that you need. Uh, they're included in your kit are two different mounts. Uh, the 1806 motors had two different uh, mounting patterns on the back where two of the mounting screws are wider distance than the other two. Uh, I'm going to call those an offset pattern. Uh, we include the offset pattern and the non-offset pattern. So no matter what 1806 motor you choose, our mounts will work. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is punch out the parts and that come in a laser cut piece of plywood. And then once you do that, uh, you're ready to go right where I'm at. Uh, so the first thing is, uh, since this is an offset pattern, we're going to use motor mount M1 and M2. Uh, you'll notice M1 has a smaller hole diameter uh, to match up to the motor itself and to accept the screws. So go ahead and line that up with the back of the motor. And uh, your mo most of the motors come with mounting screws. Uh, you'll want to select the shortest possible screw that will mount the plate to it. If you use too long of a screw, you run a risk of running in through the back of the motor and contacting the motor windings and that will ruin your motor. So make sure you use the shortest screws that you can find. Uh, so we're going to use a driver here to, to get the screw started. Don't tighten them down. Just get them started until you have all four started. Once you have all four in there, then we're going to snug them down. And don't over tighten these. It's very important that you just snug them down and don't go to the tighten them to the point that you start crushing the plywood. If you like you can use some uh, thread locker to lock the screws. Now that they're all in and lined up I'm going to just going to snug them up where they're nice and tight but not over tight. Okay and then uh, you're going to grab a M2 mount since this is offset and line it up with the back of the motor. Make sure you have the correct offset direction. Let's see here. There we go. Okay, once you uh, know that, then we're going to take some uh, thin uh, CA glue. I prefer Bob Smith Industries glue. Works always works really well for me. You can also use medium uh, CA glue or you can use epoxy. I, I just prefer to use the thin uh, with a capillary tube so you can precisely put the glue onto the part. We're just going to put a little bit all the way around and you'll notice that it, it gets around the screws and that helps lock the screws into place. Now that we've got the glue on there, we're going to set the second part of the mount on there. And give the glue a few seconds to set up. Try to press it firmly and hold. Okay. Now the glue should be dry. All of our firewalls come pre-drilled with the laser to mount this motor mount that we designed. Uh, included in your kit are the screws, the washers, and the nuts to mount it to the firewall. You will want to mount your motor to the firewall prior to building your fuselage, especially on the GLH because you will not be able to access the bottom two screws on the fuselage unless you cut some of the battery tray away. So it's best to go ahead and mount it now. Uh, one thing you want to do is take your motor leads and poke them through one of the big holes. Once 
once you do that, that'll be the bottom of the motor, motor mount. Once you do that, then you take the supplied screws, feed them through, put a washer on the back side of the firewall, and then a nut. It, don't tighten them down until you have all four in place and you don't want, don't want to over tighten again because this is light plywood you just need to be snug the nuts that we supply are locking nuts so once you snug them down they will not come loose we will continue to Put all four nuts on. I did not put the washer on that one. Let me redo that. The washer uh, is kind of important because when you tighten the nut down, the nut doesn't dig into the plywood. Make sure you put the washers on. One more washer. Okay, now use your, these are standard Phillips head screws that we supply with the kits. So a number one screwdriver works just fine. Again, just, just snug them down. Don't go so tight that it starts crushing the plywood. Uh, these, these mounts are more than strong enough to mount the motor to the firewall and to the airframe, but light enough to make sure it flies good. As everybody knows, light airplanes fly better. Okay, now we have all four nuts, the mount, and the motor. And that completes how to mount an 1806 quad motor to our aircraft. If you have any questions, feel free to post or contact us by our website at willynellies.com. And until next video, may the wind be gentle, the sun to your back, and God bless.